Hi guys. I wanted to do an activity with you that kind of goes along with our story that I read, uh, The Rainbow Fish. So today we're going to be making rainbow fish. Um, I got started on mine a little bit, but not crazy yet. I colored my paper plate with blue crayon and I drew an eye. That might be the, the drawing of the eye part obviously will be something that mom or dad or whoever's watching you guys will have to do. Um, it's also optional. You don't have to have an eye on your fish if you don't want. But I drew a little white eye on mine and I colored mine blue because that's the color of rainbow fish. But you don't have to color in blue. You can color in whatever color you want. And it doesn't have to be totally filled in either. Now what I'm going to do, which also an adult will have to do, is cut his mouth. So I'm going to do that. Just a little like pizza slice, a little triangle, and this little mouth here. So this is how it's going to look. And this little mouth piece is going to also be his little tail. So coloring the rainbow fish, you can use whatever you want. I have um, there's my little paintbrush. I have a paintbrush here somewhere. I have a paintbrush. I have a cotton bowl. I have a Q-tip. The only thing I don't have that I know lots of you guys love painting with are little sponges. If you have like an old, like maybe not an old dirty sponge, but a sponge that you know you're not going to use for cleaning purposes um, and that you'd like to paint with, you can use that. Um, but otherwise, could use whatever you like. Paintbrush would be fine. So what I did, I have these acrylic paints here, just different colors. I put it on a little paper plate and I would just, you know, use whatever, you know, material you wanted to paint with and just put the color right on your rainbow fish. And then it's going to be like a rainbow colored fish because that's how he looks in the story. And so I'm just going to go ahead and paint it up different colors. I'm just using the paintbrush here for example purposes for now, but if you want, I can show you with some other material too, like a Q-tip, how your little guys do at school. So I'm just applying the color all over. Doesn't have to be in any order, obviously. Just dipping and painting. This is good for a fine motor and everybody, they all love to do this in the classroom. This is kind of how we set the kids up to paint in school too. Give them a paper plate and then they can dip and we give them a few different um, painting utensils and they get to kind of have the freedom to choose what they want to use to paint with. So I'm not going to go crazy on this guy, but as you can see, I've just put different colors all over him. And then, or her, could be a little girl rainbow fish too. I just took a little strip of tin foil here, and this is gonna be his one shiny scale because he used to have all shiny scales, but then he got to share his shiny scales with his friends, and now he has a bunch of friends and one shiny scale left. So the only thing I don't have here today is glue. Um, you could use a staple, you could use glue, whatever is easier for you, but um, what I would do is connect this little pizza square here to the back, and that's his little tail fin, and you can make the, it doesn't have to be, it could be whatever size you want for his little shining scale. I'll just leave it like this, and I'll use a little, we'll use a little paint to stick this little shining scale on him, and there you have it. This is the rainbow fish. There you go. <laughs> there he is. Hope you guys enjoy it.